Are you looking to do some hyperparameter tuning on your machine learning model? Or perhaps you have other parameters you'd like to be optimizing in your life? Then you've got to check out AI Platform Optimizer, one of the newest products from the Google AI team. Welcome to AI Adventures, where we explore the art, science, and tools of machine learning. My name is Yufang Guo, and on this episode, we're going to dive into the world of optimization with AI Platform Optimizer. AI Platform Optimizer was built to optimize hyperparameters of machine learning models. So you can optimize things like learning rate, batch size, and other typical machine learning hyperparameters. This is the most common use case for Optimizer today. But wait, there's more. You can choose any arbitrary values to tune. In fact, it can optimize any a valuable system. For example, you could use it to determine the most effective combination of background color, font size, and uh, link color on a news website's subscription button. This would take A-B testing to a whole new level. Or perhaps you need to find an ideal buffer size and thread count to minimize computing resources for a job. Or maybe you need to optimize a cookie recipe, a bread recipe, or a brownie recipe to produce the most delicious version. You can, of course, also optimize non-food related things, though I'm not sure why you'd want to. Anyhow, let's talk about how to use AI Platform Optimizer to optimize your machine learning model or other function. There are three terms that we need to understand. Study configurations, studies, and trials. A study configuration is the definition of the optimization problem that you're trying to solve. It includes the result you'd like to optimize as well as the parameters that affect that result. Those are basically the inputs that are being optimized. A study is the implementation of a study configuration. A study uses its configuration's goal and input parameters to conduct experiments or trials. So then a trial is just a specific set of input values that produce some measured outcome. AI Platform Optimizer only suggests input values for each trial, but it doesn't run your trials for you. That is your task. And a study will continue until it reaches a preset limit of trials, or you end it. So this means that as a service, AI Platform Optimizer suggests trials for you to run, records the outcomes of those trials, and then uses machine learning to suggest future trials based on those outcomes. And you can continue this cycle for as long as you please. Now, some of you may recall that AI Platform Training already has a built-in feature called Hypertune, which takes care of hyperparameter tuning. Under the hood, Hypertune uses the same technology as AI Platform Optimizer. But whereas Hypertune only works as part of AI Platform Training, Optimizer is a generic system that you can use to optimize any system, any place. This means that your model could be training anywhere, your local machine, a data center, or on another GCP service like Compute Engine or Kubernetes Engine. Anything that can make a REST API call can use AI Platform Optimizer. And that flexibility is its true power. Thanks for watching this episode of Cloud AI Adventures. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to get all the latest episodes right when they come out. I'm Yufang Guo on Twitter at Yufang G. And if you're looking for longer form machine learning and cloud content, be sure to check out the Adventures in the Cloud YouTube channel, which I've linked below in the description. Ready to give AI Platform Optimizer a whirl? Head on over to the documentation page I've linked to in the description below for all the details.